Well, Oklahoma is an energy state. One in seven Oklahoma jobs falls into that category. And tax revenues from the industry account for close to one-seventh of our state budget. And today, no part of that sector of our economy is more important than natural gas. This week, we take a closer look at the future of an industry that powers our nation. Our Russ Jewell starts us off. We're a nation on the go, a people free to travel as we please. And for nearly 250 million of us, the journey from A to B takes place on the road. But thanks to a slew of economic, social, and environmental pressures, we've been forced to rethink how we fuel our thirst for travel. With gasoline supplies dwindling and climate concerns rising, the quest for a cleaner, cheaper alternative is critical. A quest that may take us no further than our own backyard. Natural gas in the early days uh, was just a, a byproduct of drilling for oil and most of it was flared to the atmosphere or vented. Uh, today there's a big market for it. A market that's become essential to Oklahoma's energy economy. Our state now produces nearly 1.5 trillion cubic feet of natural gas per year, replacing nearly 250 million barrels of oil and raising the bar on Oklahoma's bottom line. Dan Boy is with the Oklahoma Geological Survey. In 1950, on a, on a heating basis, uh, gas was one-seventh the cost of oil. And today they're almost at parity, i.e., you know, or, or that explains why you know, natural gas is doing so well now. And the study that we did of the defining industries of our district and of the state, uh, the oil and gas industry was number one. Chad Wilkerson is with the Kansas City Federal Reserve, of which Oklahoma is a member and says natural gas production has lifted Oklahoma above the fray of economic turmoil. As I noted in the research about the recessions, uh, that has kept us usually from entering recessions at the same time as the nation in the past. Uh, so we enter recessions later, we've tended to come out earlier, uh, and that in general has been a good thing. Perhaps a little too good. A basic law of economics states that as supply outpaces demand, prices will no doubt fall. So consider this. While Oklahoma produces well over a trillion cubic feet of gas per year, only about one-third of it gets used, resulting in a growing surplus, brimming storage facilities, and most dramatic, declining prices. The last natural gas wells that were drilled were so productive, uh, and then demand fell off so quickly, uh, prices will stay low for a while. A fiscal tailspin in 2008 that sent prices from $13 per thousand cubic feet to just $2, prompting a 66% cut in gas production. But the intermediate term and longer term fundamentals, I think, are still in place for natural gas to, to be a key part of the economy heading forward. We need a bridge. Step two of my plan begins to replace foreign oil with American natural gas for cars and trucks. And that's exactly what many in Oklahoma are banking on. Energy tycoon T. Boone Pickens sees natural gas as our country's first step toward energy independence. You have only one resource in America that will replace foreign oil. I'm talking about gallon for gallon, barrel for barrel. There's only one resource that'll do that, which is natural gas. Pickens hopes that gas produced here in Oklahoma may one day replace the diesel that fuels our nation's burgeoning fleet of tractor trailers. It'll create over 300,000 jobs. You'll build 1,200 stations. Who pays for those? Let the in private industry pay for them. The government doesn't have to pay for them. Let them give the in incentive for the, the truck. And the rest of it will come together. An incentive that will keep America on the road to success. <laughs>